How do you design one of the most advanced DRs in the country? At Parkview, we did it by focusing all our attention on you, the patient, by involving doctors and nurses in the design process, by creating quieter, more private spaces, and by leading the region in heart, stroke, and trauma care. This is not your typical emergency room, it's Parkview. In an emergency, isn't this where you'd rather be? Parkview, your partner in health. Welcome everybody to Hefner Fields on the campus of IPFW. This is Plex number two for a big SAC matchup between the Snyder Panthers and Bishop Dwanger Saints. The Saints coming into this game with an eight and four overall record. They stand atop the SAC with a six, zero, and zero record. Right behind them is Northrop at five and one. Bishop Lures, Snyder, Concordia, Northside, Southside, and Wayne round out the SAC. Dwanger in good shape here to take the title as the Saints have been accustomed to doing. A fine program coached by Jeff Killian. Snyder comes in coached by Aaron Tolak. This is senior night here in a home match for the Lady Saints. Dwanger's four losses this year come against Class 2A top 20 opponents. They lost to Carmel, which ranks number one in the state, 3-0. Lost to Fishers, ranked number six, 5-0. Lost to Guerin Catholic, 3-0, ranked number 12th in the state. And South Bend St. Joe, ranked number 14, lost 3-1. Snyder, two coming into this match, already having faced some tough tough competition on their schedule. After this game, they will finish up at Woodland, here at Plex number two against Concordia, and then at Wayne. Snyder's big win on the season came here at the Plex against Southside, 10-0. Of course, the Saints this year playing without their star, Kelly O'Shaughnessy. O'Shaughnessy was a second team All-State selection as a freshman. First team All-State as a sophomore and All-State this past season as well. So a big, big blow for Bishop Dwanger, but still have, have been able to regroup, largely behind the play of Lexi Royal, who comes in as the Saints' leading goal scorer. Snyder brings with them one of the top goalkeepers in the area in April Smith. She is a senior. She's also a standout softball player for the Panthers. This match was moved up 30 minutes as the boys match will follow. The Saints, Kelly O'Shaughnessy will start tonight and then walk off the field right after the start of the match. She will be attending the University of Cincinnati next year to play for the Bearcats. Lexi Royal will be attending Milwaukee University out of the Horizon League. Very, very tough program. A NC2A national qualifier. That's Milwaukee University. Then Elizabeth Ball, number 11, also a senior, to be attending Butler next year. A few other players still undecided as the Saints bring with them nine seniors onto the pitch for today's match. We are getting ready for the introductions for the seniors. Folks, don't forget SummitCitySports.com where you can watch all the live broadcasts this Friday. We will be getting the Wayne and Bishop Dwanger football game along with the Bishop Lures and Concordia football game. So the SAC really starting to shape out here. 
as the teams have already played five games. And folks, we will send it down to the pitch as we're gonna get ready for the starting lineups. One quick note here before we start. Bishop Dwanger is coached by Jeff Killian, assistant coach Gina Killian. And big congratulations to his daughter, Sarah Killian, who won a national championship last year with UCLA Bruins. She was a midfielder at 5'8", and has also done work with the U.S. national team. Very exciting and quite an honor for the Bishop Dwyer grad, Sarah Killian.
So for the Saints, there are nine starters out there. There are seniors. The two juniors are Sarah Childers and Alexa Siegel. Snyder Panthers led by April Smith, the goalkeeper. She is a senior. Madison Eicher is also a senior. Knappenberger, Cunningham, and Feipel, all seniors for the Panthers. In goal for Bishop Langer will be Amanda Smeltzley. Junior keeper, excuse me, one of three juniors in the starting lineup for today's match. That is number 16 out there, Kelly O'Shaughnessy. Who will be subbed in for, it looks like, right away to start this match by number 20, Elise Schrader, who is a junior. For Coach Jeff Killian. Again, Snyder is coached by Aaron Tolak. His assistant coach is Elena Summer. Jennifer Pepler, whose number is 22 on the roster, wearing number 15 on the pitch. 40 minutes on the clock here for the first half. Left on the schedule for Bishop Dwanger. Really does not get much easier. The Cougars will host Carroll High School, then travel to Northside before traveling to Homestead to finish up the regular season. Carroll Homestead just played this past Monday, and it was Carroll winning it 1-0. This bowl with the goal in the first half. So Dwanger has been tested. They played some tough competition in South Bend, St. Joe, and the number one team in the state in Carmel. And like I said, does not get much easier as O'Shaughnessy is going to kick that one out to touch. Big ovation from the stands as she has meant so much to the Lady Saint program. She'll be subbed in for by number 20, Elise Schrader. So with the throw in for the Panthers, it's number 16, Emily Vine. Picked out of the air, that's number 21 for the Saints. Childers. It's Haynes, right foot, scooped up easily by the keeper, April Smith. So on that front line for the Saints, you find number five, Lexi Royal, along with number 14, Haley Haynes. Ball's picked up by number 23 here on the near touchline. Trying to get, put the burners on past number seven. Ball is played out to number 20, Schrader. One time goes back to Schrader. Far touch line, that's Haley Stevenson, number eight. Another senior for the Saints. Dwinger playing a possession game. Haley Haynes back over to number 12, Brianna Cruz. Cruz over to Stevenson as they're methodically moving the ball down the pitch. Contesting Stevenson is number three, Madison Eicher. Four Bishop Bloors, nice move as the header in the box, picked out of the air by Haley Haynes, just over the crossbar. Strong right foot there by the senior Haley Haynes. As Haley Stevenson out in the far corner, crossed it in to Lexi Royal with the header to Haynes. Haynes doing a good job of picking that ball out of the air. Just missed the crossbar by about two feet. So April Smith with the goal kick. Saints applying a lot of pressure early on here. That's number 10, 
Out to touch to the Panthers. Aglanis with the throw in is number 16, Vine. Defensive back row, that's number seven for the Saints, Siegel, along with number 11, Elizabeth Ball with Schrader. Outside mid is Haley Stevenson. Stevenson trying to get the angle for the cross, working against number seven for the Panthers, Claire Pittinger. Nice cross into the box, picked out of the air by number 17 for the Panthers. Haley Haynes was right there for the Saints, cleared by Paxson Zimmerman. Oh, excuse me, number 17, Caitlin Crowder. Lexi Royal into space, finds number 18. That was Alexandria Fuentes. Good help defense there by the Panthers. Schrader supplying the pressure is Jordan Cunningham for the Panthers. Pettinger. Fuentes, Lexi Royal. Royal plays it back. A little bit behind, number 10. At Glanis. It's out to touch to the Saints. Nope, we got a free kick coming up. Aglanis is it right up to Fuentes. Siegel looking downfield. Beautiful feed up to Haley Haynes, who's got space. Middle of the pitch. Lexi Royal up to the right. That ball is kicked away by number 15 for the Panthers. Jennifer Pepler. Pepler, a senior for Snyder. Haley Stevenson outside the box. Going to play it back for number 12, Cruz. Nice shot on goal by Cruz, picked up by April Smith. So the Snyder keeper, April Smith, already getting a workout here five minutes into this match. Ball's chested down by number 23 for the Panthers. Hannah Feeple. Feeple, nice job playing that ball into space and does get around her defender. She's going to have to cut it back, and she does successfully. Number six. Good shot just wide right by number 23, Hannah Feeple. Also in the area was number six, Emily Myers, a sophomore for Snyder. Good feed into space, giving Feeple an opportunity for a shot on goal. Just went wide right. The keeper, Schmelzley, was right there at the near post. So with the free kick, this is a goal kick for the Saints. That's number seven, Siegel. Langer with definitely not looking for a turnover. They're up top of the box on their own end. Schrader playing it up to Stevenson. Siegel out to number 10, Aglanis. Fuentes, good play. Royals got it. Kicks it into space for number 10, Ed Galanis. Looking for the cross, has Haley Haynes in the box. Nice job getting by her defender. Shot goes low. April Smith's got it. 32-25 left to play here in the first half. Unofficially the third shot on goal for the Saints. One shot for the Panthers. Saints playing it back to their defense line. Headed out of the air by number 12 for the Panthers. Megan Borchler. Foul caught on the pitch. Got a free kick coming up for Snyder. To take the kick looks to be number 16, Emily Vine. And she sends it towards the middle of the pitch for number 15, Jennifer Pepler. On down the line. Number 17 to take the free kick. She's a sophomore, Caitlin Crowder. Crowder, big boot, in the box. 
Goes wide left in the area for the Panthers. Looks to be number six, Emily Myers. It was number seven, Claire Pittinger. Once again, Schrader playing it up to Haley Haynes. Over to Stevenson. Stevenson right off the ref. Good play. And she feeds it into space for Royal. Crowder marking Royal. Lexi's going to try to get behind her, look for the cross. She's got it. Smith comes off the line. Just pick it out of the air. 31-50 and counting here in the first half. That ball is played back to number 11, Elizabeth Ball. Out to Schrader. Cruz over to Stevenson. Stevenson once again trying to get past her defender, number three, Madison Eicher. Schrader sends it back. Retreating after it is Elizabeth Ball. Over to Siegel. Up there for the Panthers is number 23, Feipel. Good job by number 12, Megan Borchlet. The ball is cleared by number 15, Pepler. Stevenson once again getting by her defender. Stevenson one on one. Good defense by number seven for the Panthers, Pittinger, as it's played out to touch to the Panthers. It's a throw in. Goes to number 18, it's played out to touch once again to the Panthers. Jordan Cunningham, a senior for Snyder. And possession's going to stay with the Panthers. Big throw and headed down by Schrader. Stevenson sends it back to Schrader. Deflection goes to Cruz. Stevenson on the far touch line. Ball is knocked out to touch to the Panthers. Number 16 for Snyder. Emily Vine in the area. 50-50 ball. That was taken by number 21 for the Saints. Sarah Childers. Haley Haynes. Haynes looking for Lexi Royal up top. It's a little bit hard. Good defense by the Panthers, number nine, Sandra Sanchez. So once again, Haley Haynes. Ball taken away by number 12 for the Panthers. Megan Borchlet. That's number 10 wearing the captain's armband for the Saints at Giannis. Fuentes into the box, headed away by the Panthers. Number seven, Pittinger. It's kicked out to touch by number 16, Vine. Throwing coming up for the Saints to Stevenson. Stevenson, good move. Cross gets past one defender, picked up by the Panthers. It's number 15 for Snyder. Haley, excuse me, Jennifer Pepler. Turnover by number three, Iker. And looks like we got a... Rowan coming up for the Panthers. Into the match for Snyder will be number 13, Madeline Hyde, a senior. Throw in by Iker. Chest down by number 23, Feipel. Taken by Myers. 
Myers with possession right now for the Snyder Panthers. Turnover taken by number seven, Alexis Siegel. Schrader plays at the middle of the field to Cruz, back to Schrader. Schrader with those lime green cleats, easy to pick out on the pitch. Schrader reverses direction. Ty D being played by number 12, Borchlet. Played out to number seven for the Saints, Siegel. Aguilanis. Dribbling, center of the pitch. Looking in the direction of Haley Haynes, that was Sanchez with the header. Number 13 for the Panthers. Hyde. Pitting her, dribbling down the center of the pitch. To her wide right is number 23, Feipel. Pitting her, steps back, pass goes to Feipel. Feipel's gonna send it back to six, Myers. Myers taken down to the pitch. No call. Defense by the Saints, number 18, Fuentes. And we got a goal kick coming up for the Saints. And a Bible, the senior, number 23, putting in work on the Saints end of the field, looking for that shot. Earlier in the match, they had to cross. Did miss on the cross. Knotted up at zeros inside 26 minutes left to play here in the first half. Taking the goal kick, that's number seven for the Saints, Siegel. Ball back to Schrader. Schrader up to number nine, Grady Clark, just entering this match for Bishop Doinger. Number 19, Carson Kleinrickert. Just a sophomore, as April Smith once again there to defuse the cross. That was number 15 for the Saints, Alexis Sioka. Ball's gonna send it back to Siegel. Siegel leaves it up for Ball, one times it to number 10. Aguilanis, ball taken by number six for the Panthers. Myers rolls out to touch to the Saints. Throwings played back to Aguilanis for the Saints. Lexi Royal picking it up midfield. One time by number 19. Klein Rickert. Aguilanis playing it into space. Tracking it down is number two, Sarah Sturman. Just a sophomore for Bishop Dwinger. It's Aguilanis with the throw and Sturman right in front of her. Throw and goes to Royal. Gets Paxter picked up by number seven, Pittinger. 50 50 taken by Dwanger. Childers finds Sturman, kicks it towards the top of the box. That's Clark. In the area for the Panthers was number seven. Pittinger, number 16, played out the to touch to the Saints. 16 is Vine. That was number 15 with the throw in, Sioka. Nice move by number 19, a great cross. Picked up by Aguilanis. Aguilanis, right footer. Good looking shot. Another save there by April Smith. Unofficially her fourth save of the match. Schrader with the ball for the Saints. Plays it up to number 19. Carson Kleinrickert.
into the match for Snyder. It's number eight. Lindsay Trin. Pitting her as it taken away by number nine for the Saints, Clark. Schrader now dribbling center of the pitch from her defensive back line, playing that right back position for the Saints. Schrader just goes off her foot at the touch to the Panthers. With the throw in is number 16 for the Panthers, fine. Ball picked up by number 23, Feipel. Shot towards uh, net. Big save by Amanda Schmelzley, the keeper. Junior for the Saints. Schmelzley with the boot. 50-50, that was taken by the Saints, number 21, Childers. Royal goes back to Childers, who feeds it up into space. Klein Rickert pursuing. Crowder was there for the Panthers to knock it away. Picked out of the air by number 10, Aguilanis. Ball that was played right off Rickert. Schrader picks it out of the air. It's going to send it out wide to number 15, Sioka. Sioka up the touch line, just misses the connection with Lexi Royal. Once again, number 21, Childers. Schrader keeps it in play. It's going to send it back to the center back, number 11, Elizabeth Ball. Ball and Alexis Siegel playing the two center back positions. Left back is number 10, Michelle Aguilanis. Go, Megan. It's Childers working against number 12 for the Panthers. Megan Porchlet. Good feed. One time by Sturman's taken by the Panthers. Retreating for Bishop Dwanger is Ball. Ball's going to send it back to Schmelzley. Schmelzley plays it out to Schrader. Schrader battling with number 18, Jordan Cunningham, a senior for the Panthers. Royal looking for some space. She's been marked all match by Crowder. Sioka running out of room. It's going to be played out to touch by Sanchez. Throwing coming up for the Saints. So for Snyder, number 17, Caitlin Crowder, just a sophomore, gets the task of marking Lexi Ball, who's a senior, heading to Milwaukee University next year to play soccer in the Horizon League. Tough assignment, but she's been doing well so far. And we are inside 20 minutes left to play here in the first half. Big cross, headed by Sioka. Crowder clears it. Out to touch to the Saints. Throw and goes to Sioka. That's number three for the Saints, Caitlin Burns. And offsides called on the Saints. Crowder to take the free kick. One Snyder alum that's really good at the free kicks is this ball is played to the center. Sarah Frygang. Frygang's a senior at St. Francis. She's already scored goals this year of 65 yards and 45 yards out. Big, big, heavy foot for Sarah Frygang. You're seeing that from Caitlin Crowder. Just a sophomore once again for the Panthers. With throwing for the Saints, it's number 10, Aguilanis. Goes up to 19, Klein Rickert. K 
Caitlin Burns, reverse interaction, trying to get some space from number 18, Cunningham. Does work it free. Sielka trying to pick up the loose ball. Lexi Ball and Crowder battling, goes through the end line. And we got a goal kick coming up for the Panthers. 17 minutes left to play here in the first half. Once again, we are at the Plex 2, the campus of IPFW, a beautiful soccer complex. Did not host the Shindigs Festival this year. I know a lot of people really enjoy coming to the Shindigs here at the Plex, but this year it was hosted at the Fort Wayne Soccer Club, where they did have some rain issues this year. I know many fans in Fort Wayne would love to see it. the Shindigs Festival back at this beautiful soccer complex once again on the campus of IPFW. Good play by Sturman. And working away free, that's Klein Rickert. Defended by Eichert. So Madison Eicher, number three, with a nice clear for the Panthers. Madison Eicher is a senior. Klein Rickard, just a sophomore for the Saints. Iker, big throw in, taken by number 10 for Bishop Dwinger. Aguilanis. Klein Rickard, it's past her defender, looking to center. It's knocked out of bounds. Sturman, center of the pitch to number nine, Clark. Clark's going to feed it into space, looking for Sioka. Picked up by April Smith. Smart job coming off the line, scooping that one up for Smith. Number 18 for the Panthers. As the two players get tied up, they're going to call a foul on Snyder. That was Jordan Cunningham, along with number three for the Saints, Caitlin Burns. Royal right in front of the Saints bench. Deflected. It's out to touch to the Saints. That was number 15, Alexis Sioka, along with number 16, Emily Vine. Ball does stay in. Sanchez picks it up for Snyder. Out to touch to the Panthers. Two new Panthers into the match. It's number 10. And number 28. 10 is Jill Knappenberger. And actually that's number 23. Anna Feipel. No, it is number 28, excuse me. Might be Laura Medina, we hope. Royal, nice move, trying to get past Crowder. Does get the angle, good help defense by Sanchez. It's deflected out to touch. Lexi Royal made the one move. Looked like she had the body positioning to get past. Nice feed into the box, picked up by Klein Ricker. Once again, I believe we got an offsides called. This Crowder is going to take the free kick. Yeah. 50-50, headed forward by number 21 for the Saints, Sarah Childers. There go. Pittinger playing it up, chased down by number 11 and kicked out to touch to the Panthers. Elizabeth Ball for the Saints, number 11. Ooh, right in front of the box, taken down was number seven, Claire Pittinger. Yellow card gonna be pulled for the Saints, that was number 21, Sarah Childers. Childers just a junior, junior starter for the Saints. Thank 
can't sub her in, then, right? It's with the free kick. The senior, Claire Pinninger, into the match now for the Saints. That's number six, Emily Childers, in for Sarah Childers. Both are juniors. Amanda Smeltzy in the goal. As that wall is going to push back just a little bit closer to the keeper. It's like a four person wall being set up by the Saints. Lexi Royal at midfield here is pinning her shot. Goes high and wide right. Goal kick coming up for Dwayne. Dwenger's going to sub in four new players. Childers comes back onto the pitch along with Stevenson and Haley Haynes. Number 12 is Brianna Cruz. Kick was headed forward by number 10, Aguilanis. Number three is Iker. Did a good job of working that ball free. Picked up by the Saints. Pitting it with steel. Getting turned around was number 12. Shot on goal. Smeltzley has to leave her feet to save that one for the Saints. So a great, great save there by Amanda Smeltzley. The junior keeper, because that was a perfect shot. Those loft shots are always so dangerous for a keeper who wants to come forward. There, Schmelzi had to leave her feet to knock that ball out of the air. That's Lexi Royal. Crowder is going to play it through the end line, so we've got a corner kick coming up for the Saints. That's Haley Haynes also in the area for Dwyer. To take the corner will be Number 10, Michelle Aguilanis, the senior. Lexi Royal and Crowder right there on the goal line in front of April Smith. Corner is off, Haley Haynes looking for the header and she gets it. Did deflect wide to the left. Stevenson chasing it down. Played out to touch to the Panthers. Number three is Eicher. Ball is picked up by, picked up by Childers. Ball plays it out wide. Playing that right back position right now for Bishop Dwanger. Looks to be Caitlin Burns, number three. As Haley Haynes taken down to the pitch free kick and it's a quick one. Sanchez with control. Pinninger sends it into space. Schmelz is going to come up. Ball goes straight up into the air. Near handball. Cunningham is cleared by number 10, Aguilanis. Lexi Royal, center of the pitch, working against Pittinger. Haley Haynes, Royal. Smith once again scoops it up for the Panthers. So April Smith has been busy in this match. The 50-50s headed forward by number 11 for the Saints ball. Free kick coming up for Snyder. To take the kick will be number 17, Crowder. Kaitlyn Crowder once again, just a sophomore. We have 8.50 left to play here in the first half. Crowder will see if she's got the leg to get it into the box. Just up top, taken by Aguilanis. That's Iker headed away. Aguilanis looking for the clear. Picked up by Iker. Lexi Royal takes it. Haley Haynes now plays it into space. Coming up for the Saints. That's number 18, 
Fuentes. Lexi Royal, one on one with the keeper. April Smith's gonna have to dive to foul that one. Another good play by the senior keeper. Big boot. Picked up by the defender for the Saints, number 11 ball. <laughs> Fuentes. Up to Haynes. Haynes looking for the one time over to Royal. Just a little bit behind her. Childers over to Haynes. Childers has space. Royal center, one times the Haynes. Haynes, Childers, Royal. And that was Sanchez, number nine, who knocked it away. Saints maintain position, possession. Good cross, looking for Haley Stevenson, just misses the pick. Great looking feed by number 10, Michelle Aguilanis. As Haley Stevenson was there with the right foot, just misses. That is a timing play right there. Saints just a little bit off. As we have 7.05 left to play. Great look at it though. Saints showing off some soccer skills early on in this match. Haynes picks that ball out of the air. Big collision. We do have a player down on the pitch. Down on the pitch for Snyder, I believe that's number 15. Jennifer Pepler being attended to. Once again, SummerCitySports.com where you can find full broadcast, soccer, volleyball, basketball, football here in the Fort Wayne area. Find highlights on the website as well. We are in the final stages of completing our brand new website, which will feature schedules and scores. So Kepler is off the pitch, walking off, looks to be okay. Big round of applause from the fans in the stands. And a Feipel also into the match. Number 23 in the center of the pitch for the Panthers. Coming off the bench, I believe is number 12, Megan Borchlett. 6.46 left here in the first half and we are scoreless at zero piece. With the free kick, goes up to number 12, Cruz. Cruz looking for Haynes. Crowder was there, now Haley Stevenson in the center looking for that pass to Lexi Royal. Just a little bit out in front. Smith's boot headed by Siegel. Elizabeth Ball playing the center back position, wearing the captain's armband on her left arm. Up to Crowder. Crowder, nice feed over to number 23, Feipel. Childers playing it up to Royal. Ball does deflect off that first touch a little hard. Royal with possession, showing off some speed. Setting up for the shot, beautiful looking shot just goes wide left. 
Lexi was able to create some space with her ball control skills and the speed. Was able to settle for that shot at the top of the box. This is wide left. So April Smith with the goal kick. Aguilanis leaves it for Haynes. Haynes to Cruz. Cruz dribbling. Iker takes it at the last second. Childers out to Haynes. That was Pinninger. Childress. Nice shot right in the arms of April Smith. That was number 18. Alexandria Cifuentes. Fans getting excited about the Vuvuzela that's out here. Haynes with the shot. Once again, April Smith. Unofficially, I've got about eight saves. It's been a lot for the senior keeper. All played up. Picked up by Aguilanis for the Saints. Number seven, Siegel. Kicks it out to touch to the Panthers. Iker with throwing. Looking for Pittinger. It's taken by Childers. Childers plays it up to Lexi Royal. If Royal can get around Sanchez, it's just Sanchez and Crowder back there. Crowder is going to kick it out to touch to defuse that play. Haley Haynes and Lexi Royal. With a throw in for the Saints will be number three. Kalen Burns. Haley Stevenson up top. Coming back towards the center of the pitch. Leaves it for Haley Haynes. Haynes trying to get around Crowder. Does reverse directions. Crowder re with the recovery. Good recovery. It's chested down by number seven, Siegel. Siegel to Childers. Childers works free Sanchez. Stevenson picks it up for Dwanger. Beautiful play to number 18, C. Fuentes. Childers. It's a nice looking play there by Haley Stevenson. That's number three, Burns. Burns still with the ball. Looking for the cross. Gets some space. Now she's dribbling up the end line. Crowder is there. It's cleared by Pittinger. Siegel lost that ball to number 23, Feipel. 2.09 left in the half. Number 12, Borchlet. Good play. Chasing after it is Lauren Medina. Loose ball picked up by Aguilanis. Aguilanis up to Royal. Royal's got Aguilanis to her. Right, and she tries to turn the corner, looking for the shot. Just misses far post. April Smith was able to cut off the angle as Lexi Royal shot missed by about six inches. Another near goal there by number five, Lexi Royal, who leads the Saints in goal scoring. 130 and counting here in the first half. Smith's kick. Kicked out to touch by the Saints. Number three, Caitlin Burns. That throw was picked out of the air by Pittinger. Cleared by the Saints. Haley Haynes. Feeding it into space, looking for Royal. Royal trying to chase it down. Getting to a first was number 16 for the Panthers, fine. Throwing coming up and we've got 38 seconds, 35 seconds. 
32 is thrown into number 12. Play it back to Stevenson. Stevenson feeds it into the box. Haley Haynes was looking for the header. Smith did a good job of coming out and crowning it for the Panthers. 18 seconds left here in the first half. Childers had it taken from behind by number 23. Played to Iker. See Fuentes. One second left, and that'll do it here in the first half. So we are scoreless at zero here at halftime. We're going to take a little bit of a break and be back with you for the second half. And welcome back, folks, to the start of the second half here. Hafner Fields for Plex number two on the campus of IPFW. Beautiful complex. We are scoreless at zeros. Getting ready to start the final 40 minutes of regulation. Once again, Dwayne with four losses on the season, all against top 20 opponents. Carmel ranked at number one. Fisher is at number six. Guerin Catholic at number 12 in South Bend, St. Joe, ranked at number 14 in Class 2A. Some of the lo local schools represented, Fort Wayne Carroll comes in at number 11 in Class 2A. They've got an 8-2 overall record. They're 5-0 and in the NHC, pretty much in the driver's seat to take the Northeast Hoosier Conference crown after a 1-0 win over Homestead this past Monday. And the men's 2A, Canterbury comes in at number five. Very talented squad is Canterbury with their dynamic freshman led by Akil Watts. And Fort Wayne Carroll comes in at number 12. In class 1A, Canterbury comes in at number four. Fort Wayne Lures in at number 17. Dwanger did get wins against both those programs, 3-1 against Canterbury and 2-0 against Lures. That's Lexi Royal, beautiful looking feed. Looks like Sanchez got a leg up and it might have confused number 19. Carson Kleinricker, another nice save there by Smith as Lexi Royal has been applying the pressure in this match. April Smith, Unofficially, she's somewhere around 10 saves in this match. She's been busy doing a great job in goal. Royal picks up the deflection, sends it out to Klein Ricker. Klein Ricker, Sturman, shot wide left. So two opportunities already for Dwanger, just one minute into the second half. April Smith once again with the goal kick. Picked out of the air by Klein Ricker. Sanchez with the clear. It's going to be played out to touch to the Saints. Michelle Aguilanis with the throw in. Childers right in front of her goes to Sturman. Childers up to Klein Ricker. Ricker looking for the turn on Sanchez. Is able to get past her. She's got the angle for a cross. Sanchez with the recovery. Good recovery by number nine. It's going to be, looks like we got a foul on the pitch. Snyder with the free kick. So Sandra Sanchez, a senior defender, along with Caitlin Crowder, who's a sophomore defender, they've had the task of marking and Trying to slow down Lexi Royal, the senior for the Saints. Klein Rickert over to Sanchez. Sanchez plays it up. That is number six, Emily Myers. Royal, Klein Rickert, good play into space. Iker is there for the Panthers. Good job by Haley Stevenson getting past Iker. Good feed to Lexi Royal, Caitlin Crowder in the right place at the right time to put her body in between Royal and the goal. So we got a corner kick coming up for the Saints. Taking the corner will be Michelle Aguilanis.
Aguilanis right in front of the Bishop Dwinger student section. Lexi Royal and Crowder right on the goal line as it's played through the end line by number 11, Elizabeth Ball. So goal kick coming up for April Smith. That was the second corner of the match for the Saints. Good looks early on for Bishop Dwinger. We are three and a half minutes in to, to the second half. Childress plays it out to Stevenson. Stevenson with a quick drag and turn. Working up the pitch, plays it up to Lexi Royal. Cannot catch up with it. So another goal kick coming up for Snyder. I mean, like Blackhawk is too equal. I mean, you can't say that there's any person in place that can be Crowder to take the kick. Picked up by the Saints. Turned over. A foul on the pitch. Cotter once again to take the free kick. She can get it to the top of the box from here. We've seen that so far in this match. Good lofty ball. 50-50 taken by the Panthers. Number 18, Cunningham. Cleared by the Saints. Played out wide by Royal. Elizabeth Ball with a nice feed to Royal. Royal working against Sanchez once again, turns the corner. Long strides by number five. Good play over to Haley Stevenson. Stevenson against Crowder. Good look at it, right in the air, and picking up with the flexion. That was number two, Sarah Sturman. Lots of Saints in the area. Started with Haley Stevenson's cross. Picked up by Sarah Sturman. I believe Lexi Royal along with number 19, Carson Kleinricker, also there for the Saints. And when it's all said and done, Sarah Sturman picking up the loose ball, just a sophomore, putting it into the back of the net. Saints take the lead here, 34-39, left to play in the second half. As Haley Stevenson had that ball in space, wasn't sure if she was gonna take the shot. She went for the cross because she had three teammates there. Sturman picked it up. Stevenson this time working against number three, Iker. Iker been very busy in this match. Stevenson with the takeaway, trying to cut it back. Defended by Michelle Borschlet. Played out the touch to Bishop Dwinger. Childers, Siegel, Alexis Siegel, looking for Sturman, picked up by Aguilanis, Aguilanis looking in the box, Sanchez picks it up, Royal trying to come down with it, trying to get that angle, good looking shot, April Smith on it for the Panthers. Aguilanis, Childers. Sturman trying to keep it in. For the Panthers, it's number 23, Anna Feifel, senior. Thank you. 
free kick coming up for Kaylee Crowder. Crowder, good looking feed. And we got a new keeper into the match. Double zeros for Bishop Dwinger. Natalie Maury. Header by Childers. Flex off to number 16 for the Panthers. That's number six, excuse me, Emily Myers. Saints with some great defense here by the midfielders. Sturman plays it up. Royals got it. Royals going to play it to number 19. Klein Rickert, good feed over to Royal. Great play there by Madison Hiker, the senior for the Panthers. Royal once again, one-on-one -on -one with Crowder. Plays it up, trying to use her speed. Good angle by Crowder to defuse it. But we do have a corner kick coming up. And to take this corner, looks to be number 12 for the Saints, Brianna Cruz. <laughs> Royal once again, right in front of the keeper. Cruz, low liner. One time by number 11, Elizabeth Ball goes wide to the right. 30 42 left here in the second half. Saints up 1 0 off a Amanda, excuse me, Sarah Sturman goal. Just five minutes into the second half. Crowder headed forward by Childers, right to Royal. Royal's big kick. Another corner coming up for Cruz. Inside 30 minutes to play now in the second half. Four new Saints into the match. It's Sioka along with Grady Clark. Haley Haynes. And I think that's number 18, Cifuentes. Now to take the corner, it's Michelle Aguilanes. Looks like a short corner as Childress comes up. Recognizing that was number 23, but Childress gets past her. Good feed. And picking it out of the air was number nine, Grady Clark. Just goes left of the goal. Smith with the kick. That's Schrader. Elise Schrader, a junior for the Saints. Sanchez and Crowder playing the center back positions for Snyder. Panthers. Far pitch, I believe that's number 18, Cunningham. It was actually number 16, Emily Vine with the throw in. Aguilanis. Up, that's Haley Haynes. The powder blue cleats. Sanchez has a good feed to number 19. 
Michaela Post for the Panthers. Saints keeper, Natalie Mowry, sophomore. Amanda Schmeltzley, who had a great save in the first half, started off this match. Mowry starting the second half for the Saints. That was the Saints number nine, Brady Clark, number 15 is Sioka. And we got a foul going to be called. Free kick coming up for the Saints. To take the free kick will be number 11, Elizabeth Ball. Clock is stopped here at 26.45. Left to play in the second half. Elizabeth Ball working with a cramping issue. And her calf getting that worked out by the trainer. Snyder's gonna come to the sideline, speak with their head coach, Aaron Turlock. Folks, once again, this Friday, check out Bishop Lures at Concordia football and then Dwanger at Wayne as the SAC is starting to really take shape here. Last four weeks of the regular season. Saints coming off a loss to Cincinnati De La Salle, 28-7. Bishop Lures with the very exciting win against Wayne in a very high scoring contest. Concordia brings with them a tough defense and it's gonna be very interesting to see how that game plays out. We saw Concordia earlier in the year take on Bishop Dwanger and the Saints pretty much dominated that game. But it's a Concordia team with a lot of new players from a year ago as they graduated their quarterback, David Morrison. So look for a really good matchup there when Lures travels to Zollner Stadium to take on Concordia. And with Wayne, one of the highest scoring teams in the state, averaging over 50 points per game. They'll take on a very disciplined Bishop Dwanger squad coached by Coach Schwartzkopf, Coach Shaw over there at Wayne. Once again, folks, 26-45 remains in this match. Unofficially, Snyder's been outshot in this one. Seems like it'd be somewhere around 15 to maybe five. Dwanger with a lot of offensive power in this match. Snyder playing some really good defense with their two center backs, Kaitlin Crowder and Sandra Sanchez. <laughs> playing right in front of their keeper, Paige, or excuse me, April Smith. As 
we resume play here. Take the free kick for the Saints will be number 20, Elise Schrader. Schrader with those fluorescent green cleats on, easy to spot. Sioka picks it out of the air, deflects to Childers. Childers working her way to the center of the pitch, looking for Haley Haynes just beyond her outstretched foot, picked up by Smith. Smith kicks it up, big boot, taken out of the air by number seven, Siegel. Alexis Siegel wears number seven for the Saints. Ball played to Lexi Royal. Royal's got Sioka to her right, Haley Haynes to her left. She's trying to get around three Panthers there as it was taken away. Center of the pitch now is number 13 for Snyder. Madeline High. Schrader, and it's out to touch. Throwing coming up for the Saints. Quick throwing goes to Sioka. Sioka working her way to the center of the pitch. That's number 19, Michaela Post for the Panthers, knocking free. Good play in the space. Sioka catches up with it. Near touchline, looking for the angle for the cross. Has Haynes and Lexi Royal. And she is taken down to the pitch. Looks like we're going to have a free kick coming up for the Saints. To take the kick will be number 10, Michelle Aguilanis. Big grouping of Saints beyond the goal as they converge. Lexi Royals first. It's a low liner. Lexi Siegel. Siegel's going to play it over to Sioka. Heads it behind her. Chasing it down is number. That is 26 for the Panthers. Corner kick coming up. This sex situation for the Saints. Lexi Royal will be playing to position herself right next to the keeper. This time she's off as she charges in. Ooh, nice pick out of the air. That was number nine, Grady Clark. Does go wide right. She did a great job of picking it up. Just did not have the angle on that shot. 23-58 remains here in the second half. Caitlin Crowder with the big kick. Headed behind by number 19 for the Panthers, Michaela Post. That's Claudia Morgan, number 22. First time we've called her name in this match. Claudia is just a sophomore. Really nice sophomore class here for the Saints. And a great play up to Sioka. Sioka's going to cross it. Sanchez is there for the Panthers. Schrader keeps it in play for the Saints. One on one, Schrader also looking for the cross. It's gonna be kicked through the end line for a corner. Looks like Schrader was baiting her defender for that corner. Once again, it'll be Michelle Aguilanis who has taken all the corners for the Saints, except for one. I believe it was Brandon Cruz who took the, the other corner for Bishop Bryant. Aguilanis, nice high arcing shot with the header. Ooh, and a great save by Smith. Picking it out of there was Alexis Siegel. One of the taller players on the pitch. She was able to get ahead on it. Just missed wide to the left. Great look at it. We got another corner kick coming up. Aguilanis. Second straight corner. Another beautiful shot. 
That one got behind all the players on the pitch. That was number 18, Alexandria Cifuentes, close to St. Tu. Claudia Morgan out to Schrader. Schrader out to Sioka. Sioka just behind Schrader. Also in the area was Grady Clark. Snyder now on the offensive. Is this going to roll all the way to the keeper? Natalie Mount. 21 26 left here in the second half. Saints up 1 0. Childers plays it back to Siegel. Haley Haynes one time. Taken away by number seven. That is Claire Pittinger who had a huge first half for Snyder. Haley Haynes now center of the pitch. Crowder comes up to contest her. Great feed up to Lexi Royal. Royal with a nice move to get past Sanchez. One on one with Smith. And it's good. So Lexi Royal. It's the second goal of the match for the Bishop Warrior Saints. This one comes with 20-50 left to play here in the second half. Wainer up now 2-0. Beautiful looking move by Lexi Royal. And she had Sandra Sanchez right on her hip. Was able to cut right past her. She was one on one with the keeper. And it looked like she went through the five pole to get that goal. We'll have to check out the replay in the edit bay. 20, 20 50 left to play here in the second half. And Royal is going to lead the match along with Haley Haynes. Into the match is number 13, Brittany Smeltzer Jr., along with number six, Emily Childers. Sioka. I don't, I don't know how to drag. Back to Schrager. Schrager plays it to Childers. Childers looking for Smeltzley. Siegel sends it out wide. Kalen Burns back to Siegel. Childers to Burns. Wayne yep, doing a good job with the possession. <laughs> Sophomore number 22, Claudia Morgan. Taking over that center back position for Michelle Aguilanas. Burns. Good feed towards the box. Caitlin Crowder is there. Does miss on the clear. Could have been a costly turnover there as number 13 was right in the area of Brittany Smeltzley, newly inserted into this match. Getting her money's worth early on here. Free kick coming up for the Panthers. Number seven, Claire Whittinger to take it. You normally see Crowder taking this kick in this situation. She was that ball pick up by Iker. Iker, nice first touch. And she's able to get past Burns, but Burns with a great recovery. Iker tries to reverse directions. The pick out of the air by Emily Myers. Iker's going to keep it. It's end of the field. Possession with Snyder. Hitting her. Good move. Once again, tries to reverse direction. Sioka. 
hanging right with her. Good feed, number 23, Hannah Feipel, looking for a shot. It was cleared by Childers. Smeltzley up to, that is number six, Emily Childers. Smeltzley and Childers both came into this match about three minutes ago, right after the goal by Lexi Royal. Offensive campus, free kick for number 20, Elise Schrader. Ball is chested down by number seven, Pittinger. Childers does the same. Childers up to number six, Emily Childers. Once again, both are just juniors. Sarah wears number 21, Emily wears number six. Iger with the takeaway. Dribbling up the far touch line. Good feed, looking for number 23, Anna Feipel. Out to touch. Two. So we got a substitution. Coming in for the Saints is gonna be number two, Sarah Sturman, sophomore. Scored the first goal for the Saints. She scored that goal just five minutes into the second half as we were 0-0 at halftime. Iker with the throw in. Fife was there. It's kicked through the end line. And a goal kick coming up for the Saints. And their keeper, Natalie Mauer. So Sioka heads to the sideline, back in is Haley Stevenson, number eight for the Saints. That was 23, Hannah Feipel busy trying to get something started for Snyder on the offensive end. They're looking for the crosses, it was kicked out to touch to the Panthers. Once again, this time it'll be a free kick for Snyder. We have yet to see a goal on a set piece in this match. The first goal for the Saints sort of felt like one with Stevenson feeding it from about 20 yards, 15 yards out. Three different s Saints had an opportunity at it before Sarah Sturman put it in the back of the net. Second goal is Lexi Royal, one on one. Just working her magic. Got it past the fantastic keeper, April Smith. Dwanger's got to be close to about 20 shots in this match. Smith with arguably, arguably around 10 saves. Eichert could not catch up with it. Saints with the throw in. Another new line of Saints. This one has Haley Haynes and Lexi Royal on it. Lee Schrader to come off the pitch, along with Smeltzley, number 13. Stevenson to play it back to Elizabeth Ball. Ball to Siegel. Ball is deflected. For the Panthers, it's number six, Emily Myers. Possession to Snyder. Oh 
18 for the Panthers, Jordan Cunningham. So that ball just hit off the back leg of Emily Myers. The feed from number 15, Jennifer Pepper. Another foul call. This one goes against the Panthers. 12.09 left in this match. 2-0, Saints on top. Michelle Aguilanis wearing the captain's armband. Up to the other captain, Lexi Royal. Royal's guy. Aguilanis, Childers. Ball sends it back to Siegel. Siegel up to Childers. Fifle now for the Panthers. Just every single time. Snyder's got the ball on this end of the field. Three Saints are converging on. Dwanger defense has been solid, to say the least. Matter of fact, entering this match, Dwanger with a 6 0 record in the SAC, outscoring their opponents 35 1. Per Max Preps. Cunningham cutting it back to center of the pitch. Feifel's there. She's got some help. Taken away from behind for the Saints is number 12, Brianna Cruz. So once again, the Saints outscoring SAC opponents 35 to 1. It would be 37 to 1 now. With today's 2-0 lead. Looks like the Saints with 10 minutes left to play in this match. Lexi Royal looking to get past Crowder. Crowder doing a good job taking it away from her. Saints beat Bishop Lewis 2-0. Beat Northrop 3-0. Got the win against Concordia 7-1. Beat Wayne 11-0. That's Haley Haynes working against Crowder this time as April Smith able to scoop it up. Beat Southside 6-0. On way to outscoring the SAC opponents. 35 to one entering this match now. 37 to one. We will see if that holds true. Cunningham doing a good job matriculating that ball. Brandon Cruz up to Childers. Crowder looking for the clear. <laughs> it's picked up by number 18, Cifuentes. Haley Haynes looking to pick it out of the air. Sent back. Nice play, that's Emily Myers. Myers up to five. Anna Feipel. Ball sent back to the keeper, Maori. 8.45 left here in regulation. Going the other direction with it is Brenna Cruz. Cruz plays it out to the sophomore, Claudia Morgan. Up to Royal. Lexi Royal. Crowder is trying to cut off the angle. Royal does get past her. Good help defense by Sanchez as Lexi Royal picks up the loose ball. April Smith doing a great job of staying with it. Those are two persistent players in the keeper, April Smith, and number five, Lexi Royal, the forward for the Saints. So Lexi Royal, once again, 
will be attending Milwaukee University to compete in the Horizon League next year. Both players shaking up a little bit. April Smith working out the left shoulder, or right shoulder, excuse me. She looks good to go. Clock is stopped at 816. Um, Jill and I try to so it's Caitlin Crowder with the free kick. Royal playing it back to Claudia Morgan. Morgan out to Stevenson. Stevenson could not catch up with it. Bishop Dwanger student section, barking out some instructions for the players on the field. Wanted to celebrate with these players in their final game on senior night here at half the fields. Lexi Royal once again looking for her second goal. That was a great looking shot right there, just went wide left. It was number 18 for the Saints. Alexandria C. Fuentes. Seven oh five left to play. Crowder once again to take the free kick. April Smith and they're working out the tightness in that right shoulder. She's been all over the place making saves today for the Panthers. Great goalkeeper is April Smith. Lexi trying to maintain possession. Looks like she may have banged knees. Holding on to her right knee. 6.37 left to play. So once again, the trainer will come out onto the pitch. Let's look at the senior star for the Saints, Lexi Royal. Dwanger once again missing number 16, their senior Kelly O'Shaughnessy for the whole season. She had uh, suffered an ACL injury. I believe it was in the summer. It's not that long ago when they were writing stories about Amber Hoot and Kelly O'Shaughnessy, along with Hannah Dolphus, all three taking part in the U.S. Youth Soccer Region 2 Girls Olympic Development Program. They bring a lot of attention to girls soccer here in Northeast Indiana. The Shaughnessy and who? Amber Hoot once again plays for Carroll Chargers, ranked number 11 in Class 2A, with an 8 and 2 overall record, 5 0 in their conference. Alexa Royal gets a round of applause from the fans in the stands. Sarah Sturman into the match for Dwanger, scored the first goal. We're going to start back up here with 6.32 left in the match. Big boot. 
Over to you, Jordan. Picked up by the center back. Jordan Cunningham in the area with the deflection, trying to chase that ball down. Showing off her wheels as it rolls out to touch. Throw in by number 22, Claudia Morgan. Stevenson. Great book work. Creating some space. Shot on goal there by number 15, Jennifer Pepler, the senior for the Snyder Panthers. That was Natalie Maher with the save. That was played back. One touch out to Stevenson. There you go, Lynn. Stevenson trying to get around number 26 for the Panthers. You wear two, watch two behind Haley with the throw in. Down the touch line. Sturman in the area, kicked out to touch by Crowder. Five minutes left in regulation. Ball played, nice played ball up to Haley Haynes. Haynes looks like she got the last touch on it. As it rolls through the end line, once again, collision. Haynes this time with April Smith. Yeah, it was like we, uh, Smith once again, I think favor in the shoulder. It's been physical play. We got a corner kick coming up. Brandon Cruz. No, they're going to call it a, a goal kick for the Panthers. Who's doing that? Stay with it, Jordan. Stay with it. Cunningham, once again, trying to use her speed to make something happen for the Panthers. Claudia Morgan, along with number 18, Jordan Cunningham, the senior. Battling hard here on the pitch. Siegel, up to Aguilanis. Childers. Morgan found the head of Haley Haynes. Picked up by Smith. 338 left to play. Go Jordan. Cunningham once again for the Panthers. It's intercepted by Alexis Siegel. Taken away this time by number 10 for the Panthers. Jill Knappenberger. Shot goes wide right. Sophomore keeper Natalie Mowry all over it for Bishop Dwyer. Two minutes left to play here. Excuse me. Inside, three minutes left to play here in the match. Sanchez. Cunningham's trying to chase it down. Morgan up to Stevenson. Stevenson with the dragon turn goes back to Morgan. Morgan does the same. Keeps possession. Good ball control by number 22, the sophomore. Cut inside by Cruz. Cruz plays it up. It's a foot race between Lexi Royal and Crowder. Lexi does get past Crowder. 
as that ball is going to be played through the touch line by number three, Madison Eicher, senior defender for the Panthers. One fifty left on the clock. Lexi Royal. Long shot just over the crossbar by Brianna Cruz, the senior. <laughs> Great looking shot there by Cruz. As she caught all of it, just missed the crossbar by about an inch. Smith was on it, just a little bit too high. One minute left to play in this match. Saints up 2-0. Looks like Dwanger will improve to 7-0 in the SAC, 9-4 overall. Haley Stevenson splitting defenders. Gets past another. Ball goes up to Royal. Lexi playing it into space for Haley Haynes. Just a little bit too much mustard on it. Smith is able to corral it for the Panthers. Big boot. As the Dwanger student section has the SAC chant going on. Dwanger looks like they're going to take the conference crown. I know the St. Student Section Sanctuary is hoping the football team will do the same this year. So that'll do it. Dwanger wins it 2-0 against the Snyder Panthers. Folks, remember to check out more games, more highlights, more broadcasts at SummerCitySports.com. We're going to head down for a few interviews. Okay, we are pregame here. We have Michelle Aguilanis, Kelly O'Shaughnessy, number 11 is Elizabeth Ball, and Lexi Royal. Uh, let's start off with entering this season. Uh, I know it's supposed to be a special year. Kelly, uh, you had the injury in the summer. What, what's it been like going on this season, watching your team? Right now, 9-4 and four overall. Looks like another SAC crown. Pretty exciting year. Yeah, it's been, I mean, it was really emotional at the beginning, but I couldn't have asked for a better group to go through this with. They work hard, game in, game out, every practice, and they're representing doing it really well, and I'm really proud of them for everything they've done. Absolutely. Now, in this match today, a 2-0 uh, win over Snyder. That defensive back line was very good, Michelle. I noticed you were playing that center back position. Just talk about the defense this year. Um, how'd this match go for you guys? It went pretty well. We've had the same back for a while now, so we're always working hard, and we all know where we're supposed to be, and we can work well together, and we just play with heart. So. And nine seniors started this match. I noticed a lot of sophomores on the field, too, looking very, very talented. Uh, can you just kind of speak to their play? Elizabeth Ball. Uh, we have a lot of talent. We definitely have a lot of club players that play at my club and other clubs around the area. Uh, a lot, like Next year, they're going to be fine without all our seniors, but, I mean, they're, they're good. <laughs> now, I want to talk about the scoring in today's match. The first goal came five minutes into the second half. Lexi, it looks like it was a play maybe a cross towards your direction, got past you, and I think maybe Haley Haynes picked up by uh, Sarah Sturman for that first goal. Can you just take us through, I think it was Haley Stevenson that fed it in? The, the first goal here in the second half, looked like that was, was it Haley Stevenson? Yes, yeah. Okay, just kind of take yeah. us to that goal. Yeah, well, she worked, we worked really hard off the ball, and she got the amazing cross off, but I mean, we worked all as a team, and that's the reason why we scored. We didn't give up. And then the second goal, their two center backs had a nice match as well in Crowder and uh, I believe it was Sanchez. Uh, you were one-on-one -on -one with Sanchez. You were able to break free, and then you were one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, April Smith. Let's take us to that goal. Yeah, I mean, their defense is really organized, so it was really challenging throughout the match to actually get that opportunity. But once we got it, I mean, it was really, I mean, I felt really good, and I, 
I mean, I just shot it. it was, I mean, it was our team. We all did really well. Oh, that was a great goal. Kelly, this last question is going to go to you. Obviously, you've been observing this year, but the Saints have outscored SAC opponents 37 to 1 this year, pretty dominating. And I know that you guys have played a tough out of conference schedule. You played the number one team in the state. Actually, all four losses came against teams in the top 20. So where do you kind of see in your senior year? Where do you see this team going here in the future? Um, I see it going really well. We lost our clean sheet against Concordia, just slip up and loss of focus. But I think we have a really bright future. I mean, we don't have any trouble getting them in. So I think the girls underneath us, they know what to do. They've gotten lots of experience, and they'll take the program in the right direction. Well, congratulations, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.